in today's video, I will be showing you how to update the firmware of your Western Digital hard drive. With the software we will be using, you will also be able to check the health and performance of your hard drive as well. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video if it did help you and you also enjoyed it. Plus, if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified when we upload a new video. The first thing you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to scroll down until you find Western Digital Dashboard and you then need to expand this option. We now need to click on download and you then need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading, we now need to run the setup file and you now need to go ahead and press install. Once the install has finished, you can keep launch dashboard selected and then press finish. You will then end up with a window that looks like this. This is telling us everything we need to know about our Western Digital hard drive. As you can see up the top here, it tells me which model I have, it tells me the firmware version I am currently using, and it also tells me my drive health. As you can see below, it gives us a really good overview of everything that's going on with our hard drive, and the life remaining at the bottom says 99%, which is great news, that's what we like to see. It also tells us how much space we've used of the drive and also how much free space we have. If we go across to performance, we can also see the performance of our drive, how fast it's reading and writing. We can also go across to tools and we can then check to see if there are any new firmware updates. If I go ahead and press check for updates, as you can see, it says my firmware is currently up to date, which is good news. That's what we want to see. But if you do have a new firmware update available, go ahead and install that update, but always make sure you have backed up any important data that you do have on the drive, just in case anything was to go wrong. If you have more than one Western Digital Drive, you can go to the top right hand corner and click on the drop down and then select your other Western Digital Drive. As you can see, I do also have another one. We can also click on erase drive if you want to erase the drive. Obviously, I don't want to. I'm not going to even touch that. You have lots of different options here. We can run a diagnostic short test. We can also run an extended test if you're having problems with your drive. You can click on additional software if you do want to download additional software. And then we can go on to device details and system details. I'm not going to click onto those options because it will tell me this serial code of my drive and stuff like that and warranty information. We can also go across to settings and then you can change the settings of this dashboard. But that is basically it for the dashboard and how to update your firmware for your Western Digital Drive. I do recommend you install this program and go through all the settings, make sure your drives are running good and they are healthy and also like I said make sure you do have the latest firmware update. I hope this tutorial helped and you enjoyed it. If you did hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.